God wasn't pleased. Their request was strange. The motive of the heart was wrong. Give us a king. It will make us strong. Your prophets can't control their sons. We want to be like the other ones. The other nations have a man. His look is rich and in command. We want to be just like them. Our request, God, please don't condemn. Head and shoulders above them all, he was chosen, handsome and tall. A natural leader, he appeared. His heart was hidden, but not yet seared. At first, he began with trembling fear. Hiding, his discomfort was clear. But so was God when he said, Here's the man by whom you're led. The crowd, excited, began to cheer. A shout of victory, a new frontier. We now have what we need. A valiant leader in appearance indeed. Saul's faults would soon appear. He crumbles when the enemy is near. He can't wait for Samuel to come. I'll do it myself. I'll be the one to sacrifice unto the Lord. I need his hand. I need a word. And so Saul does what he thought best. But soon God's anger would manifest. The kingdom under you won't succeed. You won't obey in word or deed. You take matters into your hand. You're not stable like shifting sand. And so I tell you here today, your throne will end. Your heirs will end. And as if this wasn't enough, Saul's disobedience would prove him tough. A hardened heart that wasn't toward God. His pride was great. God's patience he'd prod. Over and over God's command he ignored. The book of Samuel would record. He then pursued God's next great choice. To him, David was an anointed voice, a man that reminded him of what he lacked, a heart towards God that was heaven-backed. He spent his life trying to kill a person willing to do God's will. I see a Saul living in me when I choose my own way to be, when I don't stop and I don't ask for God's way to light my path. I rush around to meet success, ignoring my heart that's in distress. The carnal man running wild and free, the spiritual one tamed inside of me. I justify my wrong to right and change commands in my sight. I heard God wrong. My way makes sense. Soothing conscience with my defense. I need to know and I need to see how to fix the Saul in me. How to regain my tender heart and quickly return to my humble start. Pride like Saul's is not new. I daily see it in me and you when I control and what I possess and ignore God's right process when I envy my neighbor dear and sin willingly without a tear. Oh, I must change. I must now return and let the Holy Ghost in me burn. Burn away the filth and stain and let this weary woman try again. I will repent and follow close. I'll read God's word and sin expose. Faithful, humble, loving, kind, these words will be friends of mine. Daily I will pursue and ask. The question will become my lifelong task. God, show me how and let me see how to fix the Saul in me.